Hey, what's going on? My name is Eric Worrell, and in this video, I'm going to be doing a review of Gemini Photos, which is an app that's only available on the App Store for iOS devices. So your typical iPhones, and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take you through what it looks like when you actually purchase the upgrade in the app. So if you're not familiar, what this app does is it can find blurry photos, duplicate photos, or even if you take like screenshots or notes, you can find all of those very quickly and in a very quick manner, be able to delete them off your phone and free up storage on your device. So let's jump into a screenshot that I have taken of a recording of going through setting up the app and what it looks like if you have the paid version, which I believe is like $2.99 a month. It's not super expensive. So uh, let's get to it. All right, so we're in the App Store here, downloading Gemini Photos 2. I'm gonna open it up. This is actually what it looks like when you first download it. So you got your privacy policy. Um, I believe it's also gonna ask us for uh, access to photos right here, and then uh, also notifications. So once you do all that, it's gonna do an initial scan of your phone for the photos. And then of course, it's gonna hit you up with the message on what you wanna do. Because you can do the $2.99 per month subscription. If you go monthly, you can go 99 cents per month or you can do a free trial. Um, the way that works is you get three days. Uh, you'd have to go into iTunes and manage your subscriptions there to take care of that. So I'll let you know, if you look at the screen right now, it's 6.47 a.m. at the top there. Um, this took about five and a half minutes to scan my 30, or 3,353 photos. Uh, I sped it up for you because that'd be a pretty boring uh, video. But you can see that I had almost uh, 1,200 similar photos, 506 screenshots, 40 notes, and 30 blurred. So in this particular case, I knew I didn't need any of the screenshots, so I just deleted them. And real quick, I wanna show you, if you go to settings and down to general on your phone, what you can do is click general and you can click iPhone storage. And what that's gonna do is give you a snapshot of the storage on your phone, what everything is taking up. For me, I had a lot of podcasts actually. This is after I deleted a bunch, but I had some that were taking up like seven gigs um, just in podcasts. So you wanna go through too and uh, free up space on your phone that way as well. Thanks for taking the time to watch my review. Uh, feel free to give it a thumbs up. I also do have a link in the description and pinned comment below to Gemini Photos 2. And on the screen also, you can check out Clean My Mac X, which is awesome software for cleaning up your computer. All right, good luck and take care.